as Bran holds court for his people, remaining that the acting Lord of Winterfell, Rickon sits beside his older brother, shelling nuts loudly with a rock. A shepherd reports being unable to tend to his flock with his three sons fighting in the south and Bran offers to assign two orphans from Winterfell's outlying Wintertown to aid him if he will give them room and board. The shepherd gratefully accepts. When the shepherd leaves, Bran tells Rickon to stop. Having seen everyone, Bran tells Maester Luan that he is going to go for a ride before dark and calls for Hodor. An attack on Torren Square is used as a feint orchestrated by Theon Greyjoy to lure away the garrison, headed by Roderick Castle, from Winterfell. He seizes the poorly defended castle and forces Bran to surrender to him by threatening the people. Rickon is distraught when Theon publicly executes Roderick. Along with Bran, he tries to plead for Roderick's life but to no avail. Osha manages to free Bran and Rickon and leads them out of the castle. They reach the shepherd's farm in the winter town. Rickon remembers that Bran sent Billy and Jack there and wants to approach them for food. Bran is cautious about putting them in danger if they attract. Bran's concern proves valid when Theon later reaches the farm but cannot find Bran or Rickon. He brutalizes the shepherd and then returns to Winterfell with the charred corpses of two boys, claiming that they are Bran and Rickon. The escapees actually backtrack through the stream and are hiding in the crypts at Winterfell. Lewin correctly deduces that the bodies must be the orphans from the farm. A Bolton force led by Roos's bastard son, Ramsay Snow, besieges Winterfell, trapping Theon's meager ironborn garrison. The ironborn turn on Theon and accept Rob Stark's offer to spare their lives in return for surrendering. However, the House Bolton forces flay the ironborn alive and sacks Winterfell killing many of its inhabitants in the process. Following the sack of Winterfell, Rickon and his companions emerge from the crypt to discover Winterfell in ruins. They also find a dying Maester Luan resting under the willow tree. While Bran and Rickon offer to bring medicine to treat Luan's wounds, he declines their offer and tells them to gather all of their warm clothing and travel north to Castle Black, where they would be safe with their half-brother, Jon Snow. At Luan's own request, Osha euthanizes the elderly maester after the boys leave with Hodor. Rickon then travels north, accompanied by his older brother, Bran, their guardian, Osha, Hodor, and the two direwolves.